Hey, how you guys doing? I just uh, wanted to share. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I want to update an older video. Uh, I'm just gonna do this video and tell you a little bit about it. But uh, I know you guys have seen over the years that uh, talking about the six thousand years that. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, God makes an end of all things in 6,000 years. And, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, nobody knows the day nor hour. I'm not talking about a day or hour. I'm talking about the time period that uh, it's really clear in the scripture that uh, that a day with the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is a day. And uh, God created the earth in six days, six literal days. And uh, what that means is that he's given the God of this world 6,000 years and then after 6,000 years he makes the end of all things and he sets his kingdom up for a thousand years that's called the thousand year millennium and uh, I was looking in another book but uh, I actually found it in Enoch and that's what I wanted to add to it because uh, you can find it in the regular 66 books it's in Peter where he says a day with the Lord is a thousand years. And you can also find it in Psalms. But in the book of Barnabas, Barnabas goes into greater detail and actually says that, that what this means is that after 6,000 years, God makes the end of all things and sets his kingdom up for a thousand years. Well, I was reading Enoch yesterday and it's in Enoch too. It specifically says 6,000 years and then the seven, you know, the seven thousand years would be the one thousand year millennium, and then when you get to eight, eight starts eternity. Because we all know that eight is eternity. But uh, I think you guys will like it, and uh, I got a, some timelines from an old Bible from the eighteen hundreds that it, it puts everything and uh, where we're in five thousand nine hundred ninety nine right now. And, uh, you know, a lot of people will say, well, how do we know what calendar that God's going by? Well, you got to remember that God, God knows the end from the beginning, right? So he knew where we would be right now. He knew what calendar we would be using. So I believe that, that God's timeline is the timeline we're using. And uh, if you add it up, then it comes out to, like I said, 5,999. So uh, I believe that they know because uh, they bring up uh, uh, that Taco Bell thing that, uh, and they, you know, they know that their guy, the Antichrist, is getting ready to be revealed. And a lot of people think it's Trump, which honestly, I don't know who it is. I really don't. But I thought it was Obama for a while, and a lot of people think it's Trump. But And then people will say, well, you know, the head wound, but he got nicked in the ear. I don't believe that, but I do believe something's coming down the pipe. I do totally see them faking a real assassination, and that might be what ushers in, you know, where he talks about sudden destruction. That might usher in a bunch of chaos, or who knows, but... uh you got the QAnon folks talking about the three days of darkness and the white hats and there's just a whole lot going on but uh I just wanted to share this and uh show you guys the part of Enoch that I found where uh you know the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses let it be so well you got Barnabas that was taught by the apostle Paul and you got Enoch so that's there's your two witnesses Plus, it's in, you know, the book of Peter, and it's in Psalms. But anyway, you guys check this out, and uh, let me know what you think. Hope you'll have a good day. Later. Where he says, Notice, children, what is the meaning of he made an end in six days? He means this, that the Lord will make an end of everything in 6,000 years. For a day with him means a 1,000 years, and he himself is my witness when he says, Lo, the day of the Lord shall be as a thousand years. So what he's saying, you can read this, it's the epistle of Barnabas, that the Lord made 
the earth. He made earth in six literal days, and he rested on the seventh day. Well, he gives the devil 6,000 years, like six days, but it's 6,000 years. And the last day is the day of rest, the Sabbath. And that would be the 1,000-year millennial reign of Christ. Okay, here's that second witness I was telling you guys about. Uh, it's a uh, chapter 33 of all, of all numbers. But uh, God shows Enoch the epoch of this world, the existence of 7,000 years. So God showed Enoch that this world was created for 7,000 years. 6,000 years for the enemy, the God of this world, the devil, 1,000 years for Jesus to rule. And then the 8,000 is the end. That's eternity that I was telling you about. But uh, they know that their time is short. And they don't even really need to mess with the calendar because how many preachers or teachers do you hear talking about it? I mean, there's very, very few people that even recognize that we're coming to the end of the 2,000 year of the church age. But uh, yeah, I found it in the epistle of Barnabas, which Paul taught him, and Enoch. And uh, it's in Peter and it's in Psalms. My team 13 has something very interesting. It is a facts page that contains a list of people and events in chronological order. It says, Whereupon we reckon that from Adam unto Christ are 3,947 years, six months and ten days. And from the birth of Christ to this present year is 1814 years. Then the whole sum and number of years from the beginning of the world unto this present year is 5,788, six months, and the said odd it ten days. It shows in the year 1814 the world really was 5,788 years old. This year, 2022, the earth would be approximately 5,998 years old. Okay, 2022, 5,998. So 2024, it would be 6,000. And we know that uh, the end of the year is not December 31st, or like ever they tell us. A lot of us believe that the beginning of the new year would be spring when everything starts to grow. You get the green leaves, you know, right around April. Okay. Hope you guys like that. Uh, I really think that when you add it up... Um, I think the end of the year is not, obviously it's not January 1st. So that's why I think that it could go into 2025 right around, uh, was it April? April Fools, because that's the first day of spring. I believe that's the new year. But uh, I definitely think that this fall, we know, I think that a lot of stuff's gonna change. I believe they're, they're rolling in a lot of stuff. I believe they got the whole Skynet computer system up and running i know Ange mentioned something about that the other day and uh this the computers and with the comments i mean they're the whole beast system is really really tightening up but uh yeah i would say that uh from now to any time i think i think they know that too that we're coming right to the end of the six thousand years it's uh, actually right at the end of the two thousand years of the church age that we're coming right close to the end. And I'm thinking that by this calendar and what that old Bible says, I really think it's this fall and it could go to, I would say 2025, April would be bringing in the end of the, to the beginning of the 6,000 years, the end of 6,000 years and starting the 1,000 year. But uh, we'll see. And like I said, I'm no type of prophet. I'm not picking a date. I'm just looking at what I found in the scripture and just watching. You know, we're called to watch and lift up our heads when we think our redemption's drawing nigh. But uh, we all know that that we're coming. I think we're coming to the end of the apocalypse. I think we've been in the apocalypse, which the apocalypse just means the revealing. All of this knowledge and stuff that's been hidden is being brought to the surface now, right? And, uh... I think we're coming to the end of it because of the censorship because you're not able they're starting to hide all this knowledge and they're censoring people from even commenting about it it's getting bad and uh like it says in second estrus 
you know, when the body of Christ, when we're taken, it says the way of truth will be hidden. So when God's body gets taken, we're the believers. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the spirit of truth. Once we're gone, the spirit of truth is gone. So like it says in 2nd Ezra, you know, there will be a great number that will be taken and the way of truth will be hidden. So anyway, I'm just looking. It just really, I really feel it on my spirit. feel like something's coming down the pipe. But uh, just wanted to share this. I thought it was pretty interesting. I've always been interested in, you know, like end times, prophecy, and all this stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it. Y'all have a good one. Later. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning?